New Interchange Intro, English for International Communication, by Jack C. Richards. This class audio program contains recordings that correspond to the Intro Level Students Book, published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is in copyright. Class CD 1. Unit 1. It's nice to meet you. Page 2. Exercise 1. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, my name is Michael Parker. I'm Jennifer Yang. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Yang. Page 2, Exercise 2, Snapshot, Popular First Names in the United States. Listen and practice. For males, Christopher, David, James, Jason, John, Joshua, Matthew, Michael, Robert, Stephen. For females, Ashley, Jennifer, Jessica, Catherine, Kimberly, Lisa, Michelle, Nicole, Sarah, Stephanie. Page 3, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. My, your, his, her. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. What's his name? His name is Michael. What's her name? Her name is Nicole. What's equals what is. Page 3, Exercise 4. Word Power. The Alphabet. Part A. Listen and practice. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Page 3, Exercise 4, Part B, Group Work. Listen, then practice using your own information. Write down your classmates' names. What's your name? I'm Sarah Connor. Is that S-A-R-A-H? Yes, that's right. How do you spell your last name? C-O-N-N-O-R? No, it's C-O-N-N-E-R. Page 3, Exercise 5. Listening. Spelling Names. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Okay, thank you. 2. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S-A-R-A-H? No, my name is spelled S. A. R. A. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's S. A. R. A. Got it, thanks. 3. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen, that's S T E V. No, it's spelled S T E P H E N. 
O, excuse me. S T E P H E N? That's right. Four. Your name, please? It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K A T H E R I N E? No, it's K A T H R Y N. Oh, so it's K A T H R Y N. Thank you, Miss Simpson. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C H R I S? No, it's spelled K R I S. Chris with a K. K R I S. Chris with a K. Thanks. Page four, exercise six. Saying hello. Part A. Listen and practice. One. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Great. How about you, Lisa? Two. Good morning, Mr. Duran. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Three. Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Not bad, thanks. How are you? Four. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Ms. Chen. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Titles. For males. Mr. For females. Ms. Miss. Mrs. Use titles with older people. Good morning, Mr. Duran. Use titles to show respect. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Page 5, Exercise 7. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephen, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Yang. It's nice to meet you. David, this is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Page 5, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. The verb, be. I'm Jennifer Yang. You're in my class. She's in our math class. Jennifer is in our math class. He's over there. Stephen is over there. It's my math book. It's Yang. My last name is Yang. Are you Stephen Carson? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. How are you? I'm fine. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. Page 6, Exercise 9, Numbers, Part A. Listen and practice. Zero. O. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Page six, exercise nine, part C, group work. Listen, then make a list of names and phone numbers for people in your group. What's your name? I'm Michelle Jenkins. And what's your phone number? It's 555-2491. Five 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 
page 7, exercise 10, listening. Jennifer and Michael are making a list of telephone numbers of classmates. Listen and complete the information. What's David Medina's telephone number, Michael? It's 555-1937. 555-1937? Yes, that's it. Okay, Sarah Connor, what's her telephone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is 555-7645. 555 That's right. And what's James's phone number? It's 555-8412. Okay, 555-8412. Let's see. How about Anna Silva? Is her number 555-2947? No, it's not. It's 555-2547. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Sure. 555-2547. Now, let's see. Stephen Carson. His phone number is 555-3648, right? Yes, that's right. 555-3648. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. Our number is 555-3806. So, Nicole is 555-3806. And Jennifer is 555-3806. It's the same number. Right. What's your phone number, Michael? It's 555-9960. Okay, great. Page 7, Exercise 11. Saying Goodbye. Part A. Listen and Practice. 1. See you later, Matthew. Bye-bye, Lisa. Two. Goodbye. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Three. Bye. Have a good evening. Thanks, Kim. You too. Four. Good night, Mrs. Morgan. Goodbye, Ms. Chen. Unit 2. What's this? Page 8. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Online shopping. Listen and practice. Pager. CD player. Sunglasses. Watch. Calculator. Camera. Cell phone. Electronic address book. Page 8. Exercise 2. Articles. Classroom objects. Articles. N plus vowel sound, A plus consonant sound. Part A. Listen. Complete these sentences with A or an. 1. This is a book. 2. This is an eraser. 3. This is an English book. Four. This is a dictionary. Five. This is a notebook. Six. This is an encyclopedia. Page nine, exercise three, conversation. Listen and practice. 
Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Page 9, Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Plural S. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of the plural S endings. S is pronounced Z. Telephone. Telephones. Camera. Cameras. Book bag. Book bags. S is pronounced S. Desk. Desks. Map. Maps. Wastebasket. Wastebaskets. S or ES is pronounced uz. Sentence. Sentences. Exercise. Exercises. Watch. Watches. Page 9, Exercise 4, Part C. Listen and check your answers. The following plurals end with the sound z. Newspapers. Keys. Televisions. The following plurals end with the sound s. Clocks. Stamps. Wallets. The following plurals end with the sound z. Briefcases. Addresses. Purses. Page 10, Exercise 5, Grammar Focus. This, it. These, they. Plurals. This is a camera. These are cameras. What's this? It's an earring. What are these? They're earrings. It equals it is. There equals they are. Page 10, Exercise 6. What's this called? Part A. Listen and practice. What's this called in English? I don't know. It's an umbrella. How do you spell that? U M B R E L L A. What are these called in English? Hmm. I think they're chopsticks. How do you spell that? C H O P S T I C K S. Page 11, Exercise 7, Conversation. Listen and practice. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're still on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That's my wallet. Page 11, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Yes, no, and where questions with B. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where is your wallet? It's in my pocket. Are your keys in your purse? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Where are my keys? They're in the restaurant. Page 12, Exercise 9, Word Power. 
Prepositions Article The Part A Listen and practice Where are the keys? The keys are in the briefcase. The keys are on the briefcase. The keys are in front of the briefcase. The keys are next to the briefcase. The keys are behind the briefcase. The keys are under the briefcase. Page 12, Exercise 9, Part B. Complete these sentences. Listen and check your answers. 1. The books are in the book bag. 2. The CD player is next to the television. 3. The map is under the newspaper. 4. The chair is behind the desk. 5. The wallet is on the purse. 6. The phone is in front of the address book. Page 12, Exercise 10, Listening. Kate is looking for some things in her house. Where are they? Listen and match each thing to its location. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great! Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Unit 3. Where are you from? Page 14. Exercise 1. Snapshot. The 10 largest cities in the world. Listen and practice. Cities. 1. Tokyo. 2. Mexico City. 3. Sao Paulo. 4. New York. 5. Bombay. 6. Shanghai. 7. Los Angeles. 8. Calcutta. 9. Buenos Aires. 10. Seoul. Countries Argentina Brazil China India Japan Mexico South Korea The United States Page 14, Exercise 2, Conversation Part A. Listen and practice Where are you from, Jessica? Well, my family is here in the United States, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Busan. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Page 14, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to Jessica and Tim Talk to Tony, Natasha, and Monique. Check true or false. 1. So, where are you from, Tony? I'm Brazilian. Oh, what part of Brazil are you from? I'm from Rio. 2. Is your name Russian, Natasha? Yes, it is. But I'm from the United States, from New York. So you're American? Yes, I am. But my parents are from Russia originally. Three. By the way, Jessica, this is Monique. Nice to meet you, Monique. Are you from Brazil too? 
No, I'm from Montreal. So, you're Canadian. Is your first language English? No, it's not. My first language is French. Page 15, Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Statements and yes-no questions with B. Are you from Seoul? I'm not from Seoul. I'm from Pusan. Is Tony from Italy? He's not from Italy. He's from Brazil. Is your first language French? It's not French. It's English. Are you and Maria from Chile? We're not from Chile. We're from Argentina. Are your parents in the U.S.? They're not in the U.S. They're in Europe. Are your parents in the U.S.? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Are you and your family from Asia? Yes, we are. No, we're not. We're equals we are. Page 17, Exercise 5. Conversation. Listen and practice. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. He's in college here in Vancouver. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very funny, too. Page 17, Exercise 6. Numbers and Ages. Part A. Listen and practice. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, Page 17, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Page 18, Exercise 7, Word Power. Descriptions. Part A. Listen and practice. He's handsome. She's pretty. They're very good looking. She's shy. He's serious. She's smart. He's very funny. He's really tall. He's short. He's a little heavy. He's thin. She's really friendly. They're nice. Page 18, Exercise 8. Listening. Listen to descriptions of four people. Check the correct words. 1. What's your friend Karen like? She's great. She's really friendly. Is she very tall? No, no, she's not. She's short. 2. James, you're very funny. Thanks. And you're really nice. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice, too. 3. Wow, who's that? She's really cute. Oh, that's my girlfriend, Stephanie. Really? What's she like? Well, she's cute. And she's really smart. 4. What's Andrew like? Hmm, he's a little heavy, but he's very handsome. Is he funny? 
funny? Uh, well, no, he's not funny, but he's very handsome. Page 19, Exercise 9. Pronunciation. Blending with is and are. Listen and practice. Notice how is and are blend with WH question words. Who's that? What's he like? Who are they? What are they like? Page 19, Exercise 10. Grammar Focus. WH questions with B. What's your name? My name is Jill. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. How are you today? I'm just fine. Who's that? He's my brother. How old is he? He's 21. What's he like? He's very funny. Who are they? They're my classmates. Where are they from? They're from Rio de Janeiro. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Whose equals who is. Unit 4. I'm not wearing boots. Page 20. Exercise 1. Word power. Clothes. Part A. Listen and practice. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Coat. Suit. Jacket. Pants. Shoes. Scarf. Blouse. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Gloves. Jeans. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Page 21, Exercise 2, Colors, Part A, Listen and Practice. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, Brown, dark brown, black. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Page 21, Exercise 3. Conversation. Listen and practice. Are our clothes dry? Yes, they are. Where are my favorite socks? What color are they? They're white. Are these your socks? They're blue and white. No, they're probably Liz's socks. Wait, they are my socks. They're ruined. Yeah, the problem is this t-shirt. It's dark blue. Is it Liz's? Actually, it's my t-shirt. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's not important. Page 21, Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Sentence stress and rhythm. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these sentences. What color is Julie's t-shirt? It's dark blue. What color are Pat's socks? They're blue and white. Page 22, Exercise 5, Grammar Focus, Possessives. Are our clothes dry? Where are my socks? Are these your socks? 
Is this Liz's T-shirt? No, it's not her T-shirt. Are Julie's and Pat's clothes okay? No, their clothes aren't okay. What's Josh's favorite color? His favorite color is blue. I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, we, our, they, their. Pronunciation. Pat's. Julie's. Liz's. Page 22, Exercise 6. Listening. Part A. Listen to these people describe their clothes. Number the pictures from 1 to 4. 1. My t-shirt is yellow. My jeans are blue. And my boots are black. 2. My skirt is green, my sweater is dark gray, and my scarf is red. 3. My pants are dark green, my jacket is brown, and my tie is gray and blue. 4. My t-shirt is yellow, my shorts are beige, and my sneakers are white. Page 23. Exercise 7. Snapshot. Weather in the United States and Canada. Listen and practice. It's winter. It's snowing. It's very cold. It's spring. It's raining. It's warm. It's summer. It's very sunny, hot, and humid. It's fall. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. Page 23, Exercise 8. Conversation. Listen and practice. Uh-oh. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing a scarf? No, I'm not. Well, you're wearing a coat. But I'm not wearing boots. <sighs> okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Page 24, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. Present Continuous Statements isn't and aren't. I'm wearing shoes. I'm not wearing boots. You're wearing shoes. You aren't wearing boots. You're not wearing boots. She's wearing shoes. She isn't wearing boots. She's not wearing boots. We're wearing shoes. We aren't wearing boots. We're not wearing boots. They're wearing shoes. They aren't wearing boots. They're not wearing boots. It's snowing. It isn't raining. It's not raining. Conjunctions. It's snowing and it's very cold. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Page 25, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus, Present Continuous Yes-No Questions. Are you wearing a black suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are they wearing sunglasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Adjective plus noun. My suit is black. I'm wearing a black suit. 
Page 25, Exercise 10. Listening. Part A. Listen. Write the names Bruce, Beth, John, Anita, and Nick in the correct boxes. Hi, Bruce. You look great. Hi, Beth. That's a beautiful jacket. Light brown is my favorite color. Thanks. You look great, too. Your green pantsuit is really cool. Thank you. So, who's here? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's John. He's really nice. Where's John? He's over there. He's wearing blue pants and a white T-shirt. Who's John with? The woman in the purple skirt and blouse? That's Anita. Anita? Yeah, she's very funny. Oh, no. Look at Nick. He's wearing shorts and a cap. He's wearing a T-shirt, too. But John is wearing a T-shirt. Yes, he is. But John's wearing a nice white T-shirt. And he's not wearing a cap and shorts. You're right, Beth. Well, Nick's clothes are... Mm, interesting. Review of Units 1 to 4. Page 26, Exercise 2. Listening. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Complete the chart. 1. Hi, my name's Ryan. Ryan, that's an interesting name. How do you spell it? It's R-Y-A-N. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ryan. I'm Laura Morgan. I think you're in my math class. Yeah, you're right. So where are you from, Ryan? I'm from New York. 2. Hi, I'm Robert. Hello, Robert. I'm Elena. Helena. H-E-L-E-N-A? No, Elena. E-L-E-N-A. That's a beautiful name. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Really? Where in Mexico? Mexico City. Three. Juan, this is Stephanie King. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Your first name is Stephanie? Yes, it is. And how do you spell that, Stephanie? It's S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E. -E. I see. Thank you. Stephanie is from Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. I have lots of friends there. Four. Is your name Chinese, Minho? No, it's not. Minho is a Korean name. How do you spell it? It's two words. M-I-N-H-O. So are you from Korea? Yes, I am. From Seoul. Unit 5. What are you doing? Page 28. Exercise 1. Conversation. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m., and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Page 28. Exercise 2. Telling time. 1. Part A. Listen and practice. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 5 a.m. 
It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's noon. It's four in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's midnight. Page twenty-nine, exercise three, snapshot, time zones. Listen and practice. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London. Moscow, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Page twenty nine, exercise four, listening. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now? It's four o'clock. Okay, it's four p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's seven a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock right now. Permsock at seven a.m. Permsock is sleeping now. Oh, you're right. What time is it in Tokyo? It's nine a.m. Great. Wait a minute. Are you calling Kyoko in Tokyo? Yeah, she's not sleeping at nine a.m. But Kyoko is in Brazil this week. Remember? Oh, right. But I have her telephone number at the hotel in Sao Paulo. Uh, what time is it there? Um, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Hmm, nine o'clock. Kyoko is probably watching television right now. So, are you calling her? Yeah, we have to tell someone that we're getting married. Page thirty, exercise five, telling time, two, part A. Listen and practice. What time is it? It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five minutes after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Page thirty, exercise six, conversation. Listen and practice. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm hungry, so I'm cooking. You're cooking. It's two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. So let's eat. Page thirty-one, exercise seven, grammar focus. What plus doing? Conjunction so. Los Angeles, four a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, six a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's six a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, seven a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, nine a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, twelve noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, three p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, seven p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, nine p.m. 
What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... Spelling. Sleep. Sleeping. S L E E P I N G. Get. Getting. G E T T I N G plus T. Have. Having. H A V I N G. Minus E. Page 32, Exercise 8. Pronunciation. Intonation of yes, no, and WH questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the question. Is Victoria getting up? No, she isn't. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping. Page 32, Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the question. Write an up arrow for rising intonation or a down arrow for falling intonation. 1. Are you wearing a coat? Yes, I am. 2. What are you doing right now? I'm having lunch. 3. What time is it? It's noon. 4. Is it midnight? No, it's a quarter to 12. 5. What color is his t-shirt? It's purple. 6. Are you from Thailand? Yes, I am. Page 32, Exercise 9, Word Power, Activities, Part A, Listen and Practice. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Page 32, Exercise 10, Listening. Part A. What's Debbie doing? Listen to the sounds and number the actions from 1 to 8. 1. Two. Three. Four. Evans prison. Come see. Next Wednesday night. Five. Six. Seven. Page 32, Exercise 10, Part B. Listen again and ask and answer questions about each sound. 1.
two. Three. Four. Evans Prison. Come see. Come see. Thank you, sir. It's right next Wednesday night. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Page 33, exercise 11. Reading. It's Saturday. What are you doing? One. We are washing people's cars. My friends and I are working together. The money from the car wash is for our school football team. Two. <laughs> I'm watching a funny movie with my friend. It's noon. My friend is laughing at something, so now I'm laughing too. We're laughing at everything. Three. I'm with my granddaughter in the park. Her parents are working today. We're playing and talking. She's telling me about school. She and I are good friends. Four. I'm sitting in bed with my laptop computer. It's 11 at night. I'm writing letters to friends. They're in other countries, but I'm thinking about them, so I'm not sad. Unit 6. We live in the suburbs. Page 34. Exercise 1. Snapshot. City map. Listen and practice. Downtown. Suburbs. Country. Houses. Apartments. Stores. Schools. Ferry terminal, bus station, subway station, train station, taxi stand. Page 34, exercise 2, conversation. Listen and practice. Hey, Jason. What are you doing? Oh, I'm waiting for my mom. My bike has a flat tire. Is she coming right now? Yeah, she works near here. Oh, that's good. So, what are you doing? I'm going home. I don't live far from here, so I walk to school. You're lucky. Page 35, Exercise 3. Word Power. Family Relationships. Part A. Pair Work. Complete the sentences about the Carter family. Then listen to check your answers. 1. Anne is Charles's wife. 2. Jason and Emily are their children. 3. Charles is Anne's husband. 4. Jason is Anne's son. 5. Emily is Charles's daughter. 6. Jason is Emily's brother. 
Seven. Emily is Jason's sister. Eight. Charles and Anne are Jason's parents. Page 35, exercise four. Grammar focus. Simple present statements. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Page 36, exercise four. Grammar focus. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. It has a flat tire. We do our homework every day. My father does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by car. My sister goes to school by bus. Page 36, exercise 5. Listening. Hair work. How do these people go to work or school? Do they walk? Take the bus? Ride a bike? Drive? Write one guess in the chart for each person. Then listen and complete the chart. Jeremy. How do you go to school, Jeremy? Well, I live with my parents in the country. The bus doesn't come near my house, so I ride my bike to school almost every day. Tina. Tina, how do you go to work? I go to work very early in the morning, so I drive. I live near my office, so it only takes me 15 minutes. Rosie. How do you go to school, Rosie? My classes are in the afternoon, so I get up late and then I walk to school. I have lots of time. Lewis. How do you go to work, Lewis? Well, I don't work now. I'm retired, but I take a class at the community college downtown. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I take the bus to school. Page 37, Exercise 6, Pronunciation, Third Person Singular, S. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of S endings. S is pronounced S. Take, takes, sit, sits, walk, walks. S is pronounced Z. Go, goes, live, lives, study, studies. S or ES is pronounced as. Dance, dances, use, uses, watch. Watches. Irregular. Do. Does. Say. Says. Have. Has. Page 37, Exercise 8. Conversation. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's not go early. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that isn't very late. I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at Harry's Restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day on Sundays for people like us. Page 38. Exercise 9. Listening. Days of the week. Part A. Listen and practice. Weekdays. 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Page 38, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to four conversations. What days do the people talk about? Write the number of the conversation on the day of the week. 1. Do you sleep late on weekends? Oh, no. I get up early on Saturdays. When do you get up? At 4.30 a.m. I go to work at 5.30. 2. Let's go to the movies this week. Okay. When? How about tonight? No, I'm busy tonight. Well, then, tomorrow, Thursday. Okay. Thursday is fine. 3. Do you have dinner with your family every night? No. I go to school at night on weekdays, so I get home late. So do you have dinner with your family on the weekend? Well, we always have dinner together on Sundays. 4. Excuse me, when does the train come? The train isn't running tonight. It doesn't run at night on Mondays. Oh, no. I guess I need a taxi. Page 38, Exercise 10. Grammar Focus. Simple Present Questions. Do you get up early on weekends? No, I get up late. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. Does he have breakfast on Sundays? Yes, he eats breakfast every day. What time does he have breakfast? At noon. Do they shop together? Yes, they shop together a lot. When do they shop? On Saturdays. Time expressions. Early. Late. Every day. On Sundays. On weekends. On weekdays. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. At nine o'clock. At noon. At midnight. At night. Page 39, Exercise 11. Reading. What's your schedule like? Brittany Davis, college student. My classes all start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7, eat a quick breakfast, and take the bus to the university. In the afternoon, I have a job at the library. My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. I work at the library on Saturdays, too, but on Saturday nights, I stay out late, and on Sundays, I sleep until noon. Joshua Burns, Website Designer. I design websites for small companies. I'm self-employed, so I work at home. I get up at 6.30 and go for a run before breakfast. I'm at my computer by 8, and I work until 6. Around... One o'clock, I take a lunch break, and I surf the net to look at other websites. I work hard. Sometimes, I work all night to finish a project, but I never work on weekends. Maya Black, rock musician. I go to work at 10 o'clock in the evening, and I play until 3 a.m. I take a break at midnight, though. After work, I have dinner at an all-night restaurant. Then I take a taxi home. I go to bed at 5 in the morning and sleep until 2 in the afternoon. I only work three nights a week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I practice every afternoon.